What's up guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Home Run Picks Edition. That's right, we're only doing dingers today. I say that because I did want to do some strikeouts. I'm a strikeout guy at heart. Just because I'm thinking about dingers all the time doesn't mean I'm not striking or thinking about strikeouts. Here's the thing though. The only guy I liked today was Colby Allard. I liked him all the way to the moon, but guess what? His game started at like 12.20 Eastern Time. There's no chance we could have got a video out in time. I'm awesome. Nigel's awesome. Still, we can't get a video out in time for that, all right? You're not going to see it. So it's going to suck. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to do home runs. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody knows it. But here's what I want you to do before we talk about the home run parlay, because it's a good one, too. So you're going to want to stay around. But before we talk about it, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Subscribe to this channel. You like betting sports. I like to talk about betting sports. It just makes sense. You can even tell me about your bets in the comments. All right, so I noticed that DraftKings has this deal where if you make an MLB bet today and it loses, they'll give you a bonus bet tomorrow. So this is good up to 10 bucks. The first thing I thought, let's do a dinger parlay. But not like a crazy one. It's not Friday. Today's Wednesday, so we can't get too wild. We want to save some money for the books. That way we can win it all on Friday. But what we can do is just do like a little three-leg banger kind of a free shot downfield really because if it does lose which i don't think it will we get 10 bucks to bet tomorrow which is huge we'd be crazy not to try it first guy gunner henderson plus 450 it's at DraftKings. we really don't have to worry about pricing since we have to play this at DraftKings because they're the one with the deal but if you can't play there then you probably want to definitely worry about pricing because in the home run market things are crazy like crazy crazy i've seen one book had plus 400 for a guy, and another book literally had plus 700. Same guy, same bet. It's insane. Get the odds jam screen. I'm telling you right now, if you do that, you're all set. You just put whatever books that you have, and the screen will display the lines for everybody at those books. That way, bam, you know the best price. You can just go snag it whenever you want. Instead of having to log in every single time at every single book and look at everybody, that takes forever. That's stupid. Like, we, we don't have that kind of time. Anyways, pricing's not going to matter today. Here's the thing about this guy, Gunnar Henderson. I love Gunnar. Everybody knows it. It's no secret. The thing about Gunnar is he loves righties just as much as I love him. We're talking 100 mile per hour exit velocity all the time against righties. Basically, every time the guy hits a ball thrown by a righty, it goes like 100 and something mile an hour the other way. In fact, every home run he's hit this season has been against the righty. Tonight, he's going to see Luke Weaver, who's been getting smoked by left-handed batter since Little League, probably. I think it's not so noticeable because he gets smoked by righties so bad, too. So the lefties kind of just mix around in there, and we don't really under... We don't really realize how bad they hit this guy. But here's the thing. He's given up 14 home runs this season in just 60 innings of work. Most of them have been to righties, but still, lefties get them too. At the end of the day, somebody's going to put one in the seats tonight against this guy, and I think it's our boy Gunner. Next guy, Josh Young, plus 350. The books are trying to trick us here because Adolis Garcia looks like the best option at first glance. The guy smashes lefties. He's got a dinger in each of his last two games. All that, the whole nine. But DK's only offering him at plus 255. I think it should be like plus 350, maybe more. So I'm taking Josh Young at, guess what, plus 350. The thing is, I'm glad I looked into this guy. Because Young has 15 dingers this season. He goes deep just like everybody else. Of those 15, only six have come against left-handed pitchers. But he's only had 79 plate appearances against these guys. That's pretty damn good. Tonight, he's getting a lefty and Joey Wentz that's a hitter's wet dream. Especially right-handed batters. This dude's given up 14 dingers this season. 12 of them have been to righties. They're in Texas. Globe Life Stadium, all that. I think the wind's blowing out to left field, probably. I think Josh Young is going to hit one to space. Finally, we're going to go J.D. Martinez, plus 235. I know I said I didn't want to play Garcia at plus 255, but I'll play JD at plus 235. It's totally different. I get that JD just hit two dingers last night, and that, but that's just how he rolls. He can do it again. Last month against Atlanta, he went to Atlanta, hit two dingers. The next night, he hit another home run. So he does this all the time. I get that there's some people out there that are like, oh, he can't hit home runs in back-to-back -back games. He's done this before. The guy has hit a home run in three straight games already this season and then two straight games twice. It's what he does. Do you know what else he does? Smashes lefties. The last seven times his bat hit a lefty's ball, the thing traveled at least 95 plus mile per hour the other way. Most of the balls were in the air too, which is even better because ground balls can't go over the fence. 
Tonight, he's getting Kyle Freeland, who is in fact left-handed, which is huge. Martinez has only seen Freeland seven times in his career, but he does have a home run, double, and single against him. The guy rips. I think he puts another one in the seats tonight, and when he does, we'll cash this parlay. Now, I know I said it was $10. FanDuel would only let me bet like $7 and change on it, but still, it's still going to pay really well. You can see on the screen right now that this thing's a monster. I'll see you guys tomorrow.